Are your patients experiencing chronic fatigue, maybe fertility issues, anxiety or depression, or even neurological issues, and you're trying to determine if genetic methylation testing is for them? Well, I hope you'll join me in this journey of understanding and interpreting genetic methylation testing to see if it is appropriate for your patients in their journey. Hi, my name is Dr. Aria Missimer. I'm a functional medicine practitioner, doctor of physical therapy, and registered dietitian, as well as the owner of the Movement Paradigm Integrative Health Center. Methylation is a crucial biochemical reaction that occurs in almost every cell of the body and essentially is the transfer of a methyl group from one molecule to another, which is one carbon atom and three hydrogen atoms. Vitamins, minerals, and amino acids are going to keep this process running smoothly. However, oxidative stress as well as genetic factors can alter the methylation pathway. So this process is essential for many physiological functions. So we're going to review eight of them. So let's review eight key physiological functions that methylation is influencing. Number one is DNA regulation. So adding methyl donors to DNA can change the activity of gene expression. So it can either turn on or turn off genes. Number two is detoxification. So it can be very important in helping us eliminate toxins and heavy metals such as arsenic and lead. Number three is neurotransmitter synthesis. So it can be very important in synthesis of our neurotransmitters, such as dopamine and serotonin, and also breakdown of those. Number four is immune function. So methylation can influence the immune response based on the production of cytokines. So of course, can be very important in its role in autoimmune disease and infections. Number five is skeletal muscle function. So it has a huge role in the production of creatine. So it can be very important in overall muscle health. Number six is energy production. So methylation has a huge role in energy production because it's helping convert homocysteine to methionine, which is a precursor for SAMe, which is what helps us to break down most bodily compounds. SAMe is also the cornerstone of the methylation pathway. And cell membrane repair. So methylation is crucial in the formation of phosphatidylcholine, which is important for cell membrane health and repair. And number eight is hormone balance. So it can be very important in processing excess hormones, such as estrogen, for proper detoxification. So because of all of these very important physiological reactions that methylation is playing in the body, who are the people that will benefit most from genetic methylation testing? People that may be experiencing a neurological or psychological disorder, such as schizophrenia, bipolar, anxiety, depression, or even something like Parkinson's or another neurodegenerative disease. Somebody that may have had cancer is looking to prevent cancer or is in recovery from cancer. All of these will be important in understanding their risk and well as prevention. Somebody that may be looking to just optimize aging and overall health. So we can do this from a wellness perspective and preventative aspect as well. Maybe somebody that's experiencing chronic fatigue, poor detoxification issues, fertility issues as well as someone who is experiencing cardiovascular disease, autoimmune disease, or any kind of hormonal imbalances, and especially if they are considering hormone replacement. So before we get into testing, you do want to make sure that you have a really thorough understanding of your patient's clinical symptoms before you choose any test. So you want to understand all the things that I mentioned. Are they matching up with this person's presentation? And you really want to understand their methylation better so that you can provide more detailed clinical insight into their case. There are many tests to choose from, and some of the methylation panels are going to look at just a few SNPs, and then some of the methylation panels are going to look more in depth. So something like the Genova methylation panel is a little bit more in-depth that is going to give you a really, really nice picture of what is happening globally as it relates to methylation. Although keep in mind that you may be able to look at single biomarkers, like looking at homocysteine, like looking at the MTHFR gene. So you may be able to break things down just depending on the specific case that you're working with and what the options are for that particular patient. The lab samples are either going to come from blood or saliva, and they are going to be an analyzed via a PCR testing, and they're looking at mutations in specific SNPs, so single nucleotide polymorphisms. So what do you do with this information? So we want to remember that genes load the gun, environment pulls the trigger. So we want to go back to our original intake and understand the patient's presentation so that we can correlate that with our genetic findings. So let's say that you have an MTHFR mutation. So in this case, you have an issue with folate metabolism, which can result in increased homocysteine. So this can be associated with certain types of cancer, cardiovascular disease, and complications with pregnancy. So the intervention may look like taking a methylfolate, possible B12 supplementation, and this can help to improve methylation and lower homocysteine levels. So if someone had the COMP mutation, then this can affect their ability to break down neurotransmitters such as dopamine. So this can affect their stress response, this can affect pain perception and overall mood dysregulation. If someone has the MTRR mutation, this can affect B12 recycling, which can influence DNA synthesis as well as homocysteine levels. In this case, the intervention may look like supplementing with activated B12, which is methylcobalamin, to support methylation as well as nervous system health. 
If someone has the BHMT mutation, this can affect choline metabolism, which ultimately can affect how we're able to break down fats as well as cholesterol. So in this case, the intervention would look like ensuring there's an increased dietary intake of choline-rich foods such as beef and eggs, and also the supplementation of betaine, which is trimethylglycine, to ensure proper methylation and lipid metabolism. And the last example is if you have the AHCY mutation. In this case, you're going to have difficulty breaking down homocysteine. So it would be very important as an intervention to monitor homocysteine levels regularly and consider supplementing with B vitamins to help support this methylation process. So as you can see from the examples I provided, there's a lot of insight that you can gather from genetic methylation testing. This can be an integral part of your functional medicine practice and how you're utilizing this information coupled with your patient's clinical presentation to really help optimize their health and longevity. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this on root cause medicine. Hey, thanks for watching our video. If you order a lab test for your medical practice, head over to rootbelt.com to order hundreds of different labs from over 35 different lab companies, including Dutch, Dr. Zeta, Mosaic, and more.